Hey, this is CB Smallwood, and welcome to Mental Junk Food, where we talk about all things comics, sci-fi, horror, fantasy, and everything in between. And today, we're going to do a follow-up video to DC's New Age of Heroes, Is It Doomed to Fail? And I'm going to tell you today, right now, the answer to that question is yes. Yes, it's doomed to fail. I know a lot of you would disagree with me on that, but I've got the facts on my side uh, and I will try to prove my case in this follow-up video. And I think by the end of it, it's going to be hard to argue otherwise. Now, a lot of you have mistaken in some of my previous uh, New Age of Heroes uh, videos that, that I hate these books. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't hate these books. I love these books. You know, I really enjoy Terrifics. I really enjoy Damage and Sideways and Silencer, which Silencer is a great book. I don't know why people's not buying it. And um, Curse of Brimstone, not a fan of Immortal Man. I know I'm in the minority when I say that, but that's just how it is. Not going to get into that can of worms. But having said that, I love these books. I love these heroes and these stories. And, and although they're not perfect, you know, they're just getting started. And I'm really uh, excited to see where they go uh, with them, with these books. So having said that, even though I want these books to succeed, the... The information available about what's going on, the things that I see and observe, is telling me that no, these books will not continue to go on much further. I expect the cutoff point for some of these comic books might be by issue 20, but we'll see. You know, uh, Warner Brothers does foot the bill, so even if books don't sell well, Warner Brothers will bail them out in much the same way that you know Walt Disney or, or Disney you know bails up Marvel for their low-selling books. I would imagine. So anyway, to uh, back up my assertion that these books are doomed to fail, if we look at uh, Comicron.com and we look at the top 100 books that's being sold by Comic Cron. And to give you a little bit of perspective, we'll look at the top 10 books that's being sold uh, as of the month of April 2018. Top 10 books, according to Comic Cron, number one selling book is Action Comics 1000, which is a no-brainer. Sold roughly uh, 450,000 copies, Amazing Spider-Man. Comes, comes in at number two at 230,000 copies. Amazing Spider-Man comes in at number three. 192,000 copies. Hunt for Wolverine at 138,000. Batman sold 125. Venomized sold 103,000 co 103, copies. Uh, Batman 96,000 copies. Uh, followed by Domino, Captain America, and coming in at number 10 was Walking Dead, which sold 73,000 copies. Now I mentioned the top 10 books that are sold according to Comic Con of the month of April 2018 to give you perspective when you compare it to DC's New Age of Heroes. So if we scroll on down on this page and we go to um, to the very first book we see that's a DC New Age of Heroes title, which is Immortal Man number one. And it comes in at number 22. Now, everybody has told me, and, and I've read this all over the internet, that it's sold out everywhere. And that is really of no surprise because anything that Jim Lee attaches his name to and sells insanely well because it's Jim Lee. Jim Lee's made of gold. He is the golden goose that lays the golden eggs. So it's a it's it's of no surprise to me that Immortal Man has sold as well as it has. It comes in at number 22, which is a respectable number in the top 100. Uh, issue number one sold 48,000 copies, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, not as not as good as the top 10 books are selling, but it's still pretty good. The next best seller uh, drops down quite a bit to 53 out of the top 100. And that is Curse of Brimstone number one. It sold 33,000 copies. Dropping further down even more is another is a bestseller for DC's New Age Heroes. It's dropped down quite a bit. Terrifics uh, issue number three comes in at number 68 and it sold 30,000 copies. And breaking out of the 100s, at 115, damage number four, so 20,000 copies. And I saw a silencer on here somewhere, but I'm not going to scroll for it. So anyway, <laughs> that gives you an idea of what these books are selling, you know, and, and comparing that with the top 10. So they're selling decent, but when you look at the big two, Marvel and DC, decent is not good numbers for the big two. You want to get in those... 50,000 range on up. You know, you don't want to drop below 50,000. I mean, if I was a publisher for the big two, that would be my goal. You know, like, I don't want any of my books to sell below 50,000 copies. 
And I know that today that's considered the norm for the comic book industry, but just because something is considered the norm doesn't mean that it should be that way. You know, you want to you wanna make money and you want to build an audience and you want people to read your product and, and, and experience it, digest it, eat it, whatever. <laughs> you know? So anyway, the uh, DC's New Age of Heroes, they're doing decent, but they could be doing a lot better considering it's DC Comics and considering it's... a uh, freaking Warner Brothers that owns DC Comics. So they got the money to promote these books. They're just choosing not to do it. If you don't believe me, go to DC Comics' website and look on their look on the front page of their website. Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen is DC's New Age of Heroes. Why is that? That is stupid. That is dumb. <laughs> you know? uh, if, if you want people to find out about your product, you know, in this digital age, make sure that you put it on the front page of your website. Can you at least do that, DC Comics, so people can become more aware of what you're selling? Because Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and all these other iconic characters don't need that help because they're well-established. They're in video games, you know, comics, toys, movies, television, just whatever. They're all over the place, and there's decades of this stuff. Um, while the DC's New Age of Heroes has none of that branding. If you want to see how to do branding uh, correct, I recommend checking out Heroes Reborn, which Jim Lee is well versed in back in the 90s, where they they advertised as much as they could. And this is pre pre internet, not pre internet. I, I should say it's it's like before the internet really really took off in a big way, you know. And Heroes Reborn was a big success. And we fast forward to today, and. There's no reason why DC Comics shouldn't take advantage of the internet. You know, they could take a couple thousand dollars, just a couple thousand dollars, which is a drop in the bucket for them. Advertise on Facebook to make people aware of what it is that they're selling, and they're not doing that. So, <laughs> you know, I don't want these books to fail. I really don't, but, but they're going to, ultimately, in my opinion. A lot of the artists that are attached to these books are jumping ship after issue three or four because they're going back to Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Justice League and all these other books that don't need the help of these A-list artists. I don't understand why DC did not sign these artists to 12 consecutive issues so that a lot of these comic books can get legs of their own. Uh, that, that's a big foobar in their part. And it's, it's another sign that they're not serious about these books seceding. So really, why did they create these books? Well, I think they wanted to create a diverse group of characters in terms of ethnicity, gender, background, culture. And um, try to see what people are into, what, what, what they're willing to pay for. And if they can introduce these characters later on uh, to like Teen Titans and Justice League as part of those teams or, or as a part of like future antagonist for their already iconic characters of Superman, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman and stuff like that. Or, or, or protagonist uh, sidekicks or whatever. And, and the little off chance that one of these books actually blows up and becomes an iconic or iconic characters uh, themselves. So basically, in my opinion, DC's New Age of Heroes is just a DC Comics experiment that they're not really heavily invested in. You know, and really, if these books succeed or not, it's not going to be up to DC Comics because uh, they have the power, but they're not just they're not going to wield that power. They're just going to lay it on the table. It's up to us if we want these books to succeed. And so it's important for word of mouth to get around about the books that you care about so that they continue to be sold. But again, you know, like, there might be some books that I might not even read anymore because some of my favorite artists are jumping ship after issue three or four. It just depends on who they get to replace them. I know, for example, Kerry Nord, uh, I think he took over issue four of Damage, and uh, that was an enjoyable book, you know, and, and he really, it, Kerry Nord's art really suits it for some reason. So if they can find other talented artists like that to take over a lot of these other books then they should be all right but they need to make sure that they keep a creative team in place for at least 12 issues well anyway folks that's what i think um that's what i thought or whatever that's my evidence for why i think that these books are still doomed to fail i hope that i'm wrong i really 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 do uh, do you disagree with me? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments section down below. Is is a lot of these books still selling well in the comic shops? I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, please let me know that as well in the comic section down below. I do read each and every one of your comments. 
and I cherish or appreciate each and every one of them, you know, for taking the time even to, you know, top stuff up, you know. And if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Kept up to date to all my latest shenanigans. As always, this is CB Smallwood, and I will see you in the next video.